Hey, Orange One here with Donald Clark and Michael Hill. In the last episode, we looted these two banks, and I was thinking in this episode of making some more slime mutagen. Um, I know that we've cleared out a large chunk of the city, and it really would make sense to loot it. I just don't really want to record that right now, <laughs> to be honest. I want to get some mutations down, and I think y'all would probably want to see that more anyways. So I'm going to get back to the car. Um, and maybe cook some slime mutagen there. I'm not really sure. Actually, you know what we could do is we could go back to our base. We could get Michael working on the next base upgrade while we, uh, while we do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's get Michael working on that next base upgrade. I'll probably make a cut here, and then when we get back to base, I'll have you join back up with us. So we're back at the base, um, and let's just get Michael on a job before we do anything else. Then we probably want to get some food. I'm not sure what else we'll want to do, but let's just get this all situated first. Hey Leonard, it's been a while. Um, good to upgrade the camp. And we've got the tent up there. I don't know if we have the 2x4s. Or the pine bows. Um, but we definitely have a tent. Um, we could also add an expan expansion. That would just be a three hour job. Let's see if we can do this. I'm curious what two, how many 2x4s we have. We've got 18. Really? We only have 18? Huh. This one we had more. Okay, it looks like we only have 18. Um, how many did we need, Leonard? 24. Uh, we might be able to cut up something into 2x4s. If we don't have the pine bows, it's kind of pointless. Let's bring the tent over, at least. We can do that much. And did they say that we need a large tent? Because I don't think we have a large tent. If I go up to Leonard, what did we need? Yeah, we need a large tent. We have a regular tent. If I damage them, I bet I could use them though. And we do have enough pine bows. That's good to know. Oh, we didn't actually grab the tents. Inventory around. I want tent. Um. Yeah, because we need quite a few of those. Well, we know we've got enough pine bows. We know we have a tent. I feel like we're gonna have to break those tents that we collected and get the damage tents for some weird reason then we'll be able to build a large tent from that. We've got so much junk here though. Michael, could you organize some of it for us? I think that'll be your first job is just to do menial labor. And let's see. Did I have some two I just am curious if we had two by fours in here. No we don't. Okay, well, Michael's going to be doing that for like three hours, I believe. Let's just get some food cooked first before we do anything. 
I'm pretty sure that plant marrow's off. Actually, let's turn off the internal furnace. Get our food. And then we'll get our water. And then we'll put that away. We want to make this slime mutagen. We have enough to make seven. After that we run out. So we got 40 blob globs, but we're going to need some blob globs to make the, uh, the serum. I think this is a good number. Let's do that. We'll use our ammonia. And we'll pour that in there and one of the gallon jugs. Then can I also make slime serum? That take 45 minutes. It's probably gonna go dark on us, huh? Yep. Uh, let's get our warm crystal. I'm gonna close these windows. And we'll continue with our crafting there. Let's pour that into the metal tank. And we can go ahead and inject those three. I don't know if that'll be enough to get us to cross the threshold. I've got a feeling it won't. We can try. Oh, we got too much stuff on us. Let's dump these items then. There we go, and we'll give this a go. So let's see, let's take this. Oh, we need a syringe. Okay, let's get the syringe. And let's try that out. Uh oh, but oh man, we're grotesque. That's bad. <laughs> okay, well, we have a hard time recruiting NPCs. <gasps> we crossed the threshold. We're slimy and venomous. So we're aqueous. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna be thirsty, which is fine. Be slimy. Huh, that's interesting. Let's do one more. Radiogenic and fast, very fast healer. Isn't radiogenic the thing that makes you get healed by radiation yes oh my god it's like fallout the radiation and fallout <laughs> now we get healed by it um we're like a ghoul or something okay well that that worked out pretty well we got some pretty good mutations there that first round was pretty terrible with becoming grotesque it's not good but we could maybe get some alpha mutation or something Mutagen, and that would cancel that out. That's a pretty bad one, but I'm very happy with the other mutations that we got. Um, I think first things first is that we're going to need to get some, some water. Because we are going to be a very thirsty character now. And then, can we make some more pie? Oh, we dropped it? Um, let's drop our tank and our syringe down. 
get the pie off the ground. That went pretty well. I do feel pretty happy with that. I think, uh, what's his name? Michael should be done with organizing stuff, so let's go check up on that. Hey, Leonard. Uh, yeah, let's recover Michael. And look, everything's nice and neat now. Oh, we're one 2x4 short. That's comical. Uh, where is Michael? There he is. Leonard, what could Michael do next for us? Oh, we have everything besides one 2x4. We're one 2x4 short. That is so lame. We'll just go run down and get one, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to go run down to um to the city. And I don't even think we need to take the car. I'm just going to do it on foot. Go to these houses and just grab a 2x4. I feel like we've taken all the 2x4s out of, out of here. Nope, we still have some. Yep, that should be enough. Uh, there we go. And where are you, Michael? It says that Michael's near us, but I don't see him. There you are. Let's get you a little bit closer. Alright, Leonard, let's have Michael upgrade the base. That'll be a 12-hour job, so he should be, should be done by morning, around morning. Okay. We'll close this up. Maybe we'll do a little reading. Any book that we could read? And bartering is not going to help us much, but I'll do it. Just because we need, need something to read. We'll dump this down. Maybe eat a little bit more of our pie and we'll go to sleep. The painting of plant, the planet dream, huh? Is that like paint the world black? Is that because we're the goo? <laughs> Your pseudopods calcify into rigid structures terrifies you. So that is like, we've got like pseudopods, which if you're not familiar with that, is like not real limbs. They're just like these, uh, like bacteria have them and whatnot. I think like pseudo meaning fake and then pods refers to like legs. Like a podiatrist is like someone who specializes in your feet and like anthropods and all that stuff. Uh, or bipedal. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more pie. Yeah, sorry, a little Latin lesson there. Like I said, I am a teacher. I have to, like, educate you a little bit. It's just in my in my blood. Um, I'm so stoked about those mutations. I really want to go further with the uh, slime mutagen. Oh, I could use some new parts. I've taken so much mutagen that I'm addicted to it. That's so funny. So there's a couple options I could do right now. I could hang around the base and upgrade it a little bit more and 
make more mutagen. Which I think is not a half bad option. Or we could... Um, let's get Michael back. And look, we got another tent. And we could uh, maybe try making some slime mutagen, or I feel like we could maybe drive down this road a little bit, see what's down there, or maybe drive over here, see what's over here. Because if we're going to make more mutagen, it would be really nice if we could find a sewer treatment center. So I might go on a quest looking for one of those. What could we do? For now, let's let's see what Michael can do. The next upgrade <laughs> to get a proper dining facility, we need 16 logs, 24 2x4s, 24 heavy sticks, and a metal tank. Why don't we have... Let's get Michael working on that. I think we can totally do that easily. Let's get Michael to um, gather some logs or cut some logs. While he's doing that, we can get the other things that are needed. We can get the 2x4s, the heavy sticks, and a metal tank. Oh, what? something just crawled out of the eggs. Is that coming from my car? I feel like there's rotten stuff in our car. No? What did I hear just crawling out of the, egg, the eggs? Doesn't look like it's anything in our base. Very strange. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and... Go into the city and get ourselves uh, some 2x4s and some sticks in a metal tank. So, yeah. I might make a cut here so you don't have to wa watch us doing that, because that's kind of boring to watch, I recognize. Let's go into a glow chester. Maybe there will be some uh, clearing that we can do. The easy thing is getting the metal tank. That's going to be super easy. So if we get our toolbox, we should be able to get a metal tank really easily. Oop. Get our toolbox. This car probably has a metal tank on it, doesn't it? Yep. I'll take that tank. Thank you. I'll put that in the car. It's one of the main things. Oh, actually. Let me put it here. Yep. Okay. That was one of the main things that we needed to get. Um, I don't really want to drive down a dead end street, but. I think, yeah, if we go down here, then we can go down south here. And that, unfortunately, that 
That pharmacy is pretty much caved in, so it's worthless. Shouldn't even try looting it. The bowling alley probably will have some wood in it, though, right? Let's check out this bowling alley. There's a few zombies that we'll have to fight, but it's fine. Yeah, it's loot these places. Oh, we should probably get another thing of plutonium in our... Oh, we took acidic... acidic damage, really? Huh. I was immune to acid. Whatever. I like being the extra dexterous. We're getting quite a few hits on these guys. I think just that one more point of dexterity does actually help us. Yeah, I know we could use some new parts, but we're not going to get any anytime soon. Oh, stop running. I'm curious, are there any backpacks around here, maybe? No. I will, I'm gonna grab that gallon jug, so if we do find a sewage treatment center, we can just load those up. Because that's what I did in another game, was we just had like a stupid amount of, um, whatchamacallit. Of gallon jugs, and we just carried them all into the sewage treatment center. I got like probably like 200 samples of uh, the sewage samples. Can I disassemble one of these? Soldering iron. I had a soldering iron. Where is my soldering iron? Yeah, I have one. Why is it? Do I have, I have to have it on me? Okay. There we go, that should be good for now. We'll put the rest away here. And I should probably make myself another pie. Do a meat pie this time. And then we'll get our cart and get some of this wood. Am I crazy? Where's my cart? I'm not seeing it. The southwest. Okay, I'm just not seeing it. Oh, there it is. I under my nose. Actually, we should probably get our um, toolbox as well. Yep, we'll take that. Grab the cart, and we'll get some wood. I'll probably make a cut here. Alright, so we got a ton of 2x4s uh, from that bowling alley. I ended up just smashing the furniture because it was just taking so long. Um, I'm not even interested in that vehicle welding rig, to be honest. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I think there's still plenty of long sticks up here. Yeah, there's still a ton. Oh, and there's blob globs! <gasps> nice. Speaking of which, I really should be checking uh, Glowchester for other things. 
It looks like, oh, we've filled up our uh, inventory. Okay, let's grab those blob globs before I forget. Look, there's even some over here. How many blob globs did I get then? 12? That's pretty good. And there's even more up. Oh, man. See, I know that there's a ton of blob globs out there that from our previous clearing of areas. I just don't know where they are, you know? I just want to double check that there's not more around here. Let's just look over there. We don't have to walk all the way. I think we're okay. Let's let's start getting some of these uh, heavy sticks. Maybe I'll put the blob globs away. 18 blob globs. I might be able to make some more mutagen. I think I'll wait till we get more. Uh, More mutagen, or more blob globs before we try and make more. So, if I go to here, I think it's best if I. Let's collect the long sticks, I think. Let's just collect them for now, and then we'll get them, uh put away or we'll do the actually we can't even collect that many um, let's get a, a couple in our inventory we'll activate them actually I'll do the ones there nearby and then we'll grab the heavy sticks I'll skip this though, so you don't have to watch it. Okay, so we got a ton of heavy sticks. I'm just gonna put them in the car, and then we should be pretty good to go soon. Oh, these inventories are... Let's move up a couple things. Let's move up um, those two by fours. move no uh, can I move the ones to my south yes I can okay let's try moving the um, sticks now okay that worked well let's grab the cart and we'll get the rest of them and we'll get back to base soon good and it looks like that's just about full actually if we go here then yeah we can do it quickly oh and we're getting some of the splintered wood we don't really need that Oh, did we not actually grab it? Looks like we didn't actually grab it. It's just us being a little off. Um, I'll grab all those. Oh, and there's also a blob glob right there. How did I not see that? That's really making me want to go um, explore some of the places that we previously looted. I might just drive around Glowchester a little bit out of the way just to see if there's anything else. Any other blob globs. And that's dump, blob globs, toolbox. 
end the cart down for now. Um, Michael's going to be cutting that stuff for a while, so I think that we could, if we really wanted to, we go down to where those bots were. I think there's probably some blob globs down there. Is there a reason that, um... Oh, the security camera. Let's fix that up. I don't know if that was causing what we were seeing there. Oh, it was just it was nighttime. That's why we couldn't see very well. That would explain things. Uh, let's go to bed here for now. I think we'll get some water. And... also cook up another pie. Do another meat pie. Okay, that looks good. I'll go to sleep here. Or not. Uh, we need to pass some time. Is there any books back here that we could read? Might as well get our handguns up a little bit. Okay, we'll go to bed now. And yeah, let's go to bed now. Can I cook another one of those pies? Yes, I can. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I did want to drive through uh, down here just to double check. So I got a feeling that... Um, There's going to be some blob globs down there. And then we'll check up on uh, on Michael and his log cutting progress. Because I think we only need 16 more pieces. And he should be able to get 16 logs from uh, the place he's clearing out. I think. I mean, sometimes he's only come back with like two logs, other times he's come back with nearly 20, so I think he should be able to get 16. Alright, there's all these police bots. And look, some blobs. Nice. Okay, let's get some blobs from here. And there's... I've got a feeling probably some other blobs around as well. Can I just... See you. Oh, there's actually a backpack right there. Um, I'm gonna wear it. I know it's filthy and it's gonna upset us, but I just want to make sure that we get all the blobs. Yep. And there's some right there. See, if I hadn't done that, I would have just like walked right over and not seen them. Or walked around them and not picked them up. We got some bolts as well. And some blob globs. See that's seven blob globs. Okay, let's keep on keep on rolling. Actually, yeah, it's joint torsion. Actually, I'll pick that up because Michael might... That might be a good one for Michael. Uh, and we'll drive a little bit more. 
I just want to go around the corner here and see if there's maybe some blob globs here. Doesn't look like it, no. Worth checking though. And let's go back to our, our little settlement. These birds are going to be annoying. I managed to drive around them. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, did we run out of diesel? Yeah, we're out of diesel. Well, that's a bummer. Um, you guys wouldn't happen to be diesel vehicles, would you? No. If we turn on our mini reactor, I think we can still drive. We're gonna need to get some more diesel, though. Control the engines. Can I turn on the reactor? The reactor dies. Did it not have plutonium in it? Yeah, it looks like the mini reactor didn't have plutonium in it. I don't think that's right though. I thought we had plutonium. Can I get one of these? And where's that soldering iron? And then can I fill up the mini reactor? Yep. Can I drive now? If I turn that on? No. Uh, can I turn off that engine? I thought that we could... Oh, we don't have the electric on, that's why. Okay, let's turn that on and that off. Yeah, there we go. Now we can drive. But we should probably get more diesel. <laughs> That'll be on our list of things to do. We'll let the plutonium fill up the batteries, though. Give that some time. And we'll check up on uh, how the loggings go going. I think if we stand here that's okay. Oh he's still he's still working. Um okay well let's let's get the uh the two by fours and whatnot that we have here just a little bit closer. All right, we've got our two by fours. We're gonna be putting those on the ground there. And then we're also going to do that with our sticks. And then we also had, what was it? Um, the metal tank. We're gonna put down there, and that should be pretty good um, off of that stuff. I'm not sure how long I've been recording for, so I'm gonna probably just double check that. I'll be right back. So we still got a little bit of time. I do want to go up to Lincolnville and check that out, but before we do that, I think we had a vehicle or two that um, had diesel down here, so I just want to 
pop down there and see what we can get. Um, and then we'll drive up to probably up to Lincolnville. Those both were gas. What about... what do we have here? That's just a regular car. I think the one that we started to disassemble uh, was diesel, wasn't it? Also, yeah, there was, there was this, the Humvee, which was diesel. There might be another vehicle or two that's also diesel. I don't mind taking a little bit of vehicle damage. Is that, uh, that flatbed truck might be diesel. Let's just check. Do I have a jerry can? Just the clean one. Uh, what about the tanks? We got the 60 liter right there. Can I actually grab that? Yeah, we'll wield that and then we need a rubber hose as well. Okay, looks good to me. That's not got any tanks. This car is going to have something though. I know it. Yep. We'll siphon. I'm going to siphon all of it. And let's fill up that. I've got a decent amount of diesel now. Uh... We will, I will just take a little drive around the block to see if there's any other vehicles with diesel that we missed. What's this right here? Pickup truck. That's wreckage. The pickup truck, I'm not sure what it is. So we'll check that out really quick. It's got nothing. Um, can I actually change the engines now? Can we turn that on and that off? Yep. And then we'll get up here. I think this bus is a uh, diesel. I could be wrong though. We'll see. Yeah, it's diesel. Um, we'll take that. It's something. It's not much, but it's definitely something. And then... We'll turn up here and see what else is up here. Probably not an awful lot, but there might be something. I don't think the van... the van's gotta be gas. It has to be. Anything there? No. Let's just check around here. What's that that I can see? Oh, it's... one of these. Okay. Uh, let's just go back up north, then. It's definitely going to be gas. I do feel like Lincolnville's going to have some blob globs for us. At the very least, it will have, uh, whatchamacallit, some diesel. So we'll go back up there. I mean, we've cleared it out. We might as well loot it a little bit, you know? I mean, we haven't cleared it, cleared it, but we took care of a fair amount of the zombies that were at the southern part because we cleared a path to the bank. What's this? Cube van. That'll be gas. 
Oh, we were gonna break into the electronic shop, weren't we? I think we were. That fire engine might be diesel. I'm not sure about fire engines. Um, can I dump this down? And let's see. I think we're gonna need a jackhammer. Northwest. Okay, let's get the jackhammer. We'll take out the corner of the building right here, I think. This is probably going to make us super hungry, though. Oh, actually, we're okay. Um... Oh, it's just an alarm system. Worthless. Oh, we actually already broke into this. What am I doing? Come on. Come on, orange one. <laughs> Gotta be smarter than that. Uh, let's dump the jackhammer and get back the uh, tank. We'll drive up just a little bit more. Did we do the combat over here? What is all this? Oh yeah, there's blob globs right there. See, see what I mean? We'll just get up a little bit further, just in case there's diesel here. Oh, it's gas. Of course it is. All of this is going to be gas, I'm sure. Okay, that's... It's, oh my god, did I just see 77? Okay, we're... We're fine. We've got all the blob globs that we'll ever need. That is insane how many blob globs I just saw. Yeah, we've got we've got enough for the mutagen. I think it's safe to say. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my lord. This must have been where we fought all those amoebas, huh? Or the uh, blob globs from the amoeba. amoeba. Um, yeah. Hi, zombies. Can I wield my artifact? Yep. completely obliterated that one dog. Um, let's dump down what we don't really need to have with us. Can I eat my pie? Yes, I can. I know getting the cart would technically make this faster, but I think that we'll be able to carry plenty of these. Also grab the jar. Yep. Always good for preserving. <laughs> I am so happy right now. Like, we'll be able to fully go blob after this. I think I might go back to the base. And make ourselves um, even more of a blob. Um, let's go ahead and get this all in the car. You know, really, I could just craft the, the mutagen around here. It's not that big a deal. Probably want to get a little bit further away from the... Uh... Oh look, there's even more blobs. Where are they coming from? 
We got this Reaver. So the question is actually will I have enough mutagen is, is what I'm thinking is going to be the limiting reactant here. Let's grab the extra toolbox. I bet we're going to need to get more tainted meat. I'd like to use the dehydrated meat. How much dehydrated tainted meat do we have? Not much. We should probably go get more. Let's butcher those bodies that we just killed. And then we'll make some mutagen from that. I think I might end this episode with uh, Butchering rack, oh man. Uh, I'm just gonna quick butcher then. We'll just get a couple quick butcheries going. We still get pretty decent yield from that, that's actually not too bad. That was gonna be terrible from what I've heard online, but that's actually plenty of meat. That should be more than enough for the mutagen that we're gonna make. Um, I am just a little bit curious to see if there's a vehicle that we can get some diesel from just up and around. So I do wanna just check that really quick. U van. Let's just go up a little bit more and around. Just to see what options we have. Yeah, we don't see much. It might be time to replace the engine on this uh, vehicle. We could get a gas engine on this, and it would work just fine. But we got Hulk. Okay, that Hulk's approaching pretty quick. We can we can kill this Hulk easily. Um, doing it with melee is gonna be kind of messy, but I think we could do it. I am gonna dump our backpack. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get many ranged attacks off on him, unfortunately. This only has a range of 10. Let's just get our stamina back. And then we'll get chain lightning on you. And I think we'll do another chain lightning. Okay, now it's time to really get this to shine. Um, what's the martial arts style that's better against them? I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that while we're wielding our artifact. I don't think we we can. I think we're gonna have to do ta taekwondo. All right, let's uh, let's get the adrenaline going. Man, we're just destroying this thing. All 
right. Well, that works. That worked really nicely, actually. Um, oh, now we got a Shocker Brute. Okay. Uh, we still have the Adrenaline Rush going. So I am going to actually run towards him while we still have that Adrenaline going. Because I feel like it's about to run out. Oh wow, <laughs> that's kind of amazing. We just like charged a shocker brute after punching a Hulk. I think it's safe to say that our character's pretty good at melee. So I'm kind of wanting to butcher this Hulk just to see how much meat we get from them. Let's do a quick butchery. And it's like quick quotation marks. Um, let's wield that backpack again. Grab all that. And I think that you get uh, better dissections if you have a scalpel from what I, I read online. Let's grab our scalpel, and we'll do a dissection here. Ah, uh, we didn't get anything super amazing. Okay. <clears throat> Could just be RNG messing with us. Um... Yeah, I think that I'll drive back to base and make more mutagen there. I'll see you in a minute. So, um, we made a ton of mutagen last night. We were chilling, and we just mutated while we were sleeping. I'm kind of weirded out by that. I'm thinking it might have something to do with our artifact. But our, our pain recovery mutation turned to quick pain recovery, and our perceptive turned into very perceptive. I'm not complaining. I'm just very confused. So I'm wondering how we got even more perceptive. And I think it's our um, artifact. I'm not 100% sure. Because I think, if, uh, if I remember correctly, let's just go ahead and drop the artifact and then pick it back up. Yeah, it says our genetic makeup is degrading. So I think if we're wielding that, we might randomly get mutations. Um, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind. <laughs> I'm going to put this down so that we can pick this up. I don't think we get the mutations just by having it in our inventory. I think we have to be wielding it. But yeah, we'll see about that. But let's see, I think um, it's time to take some of this mutagen. Let's take this serum. Yeah, that worked out nicely. We got um, viscous, which is right there. So we've got acid protection and cut protection from that. And now we just regenerate health, it looks like. And we're light sensitive. Huh. OK, that's interesting. But we're like a glow. We have a glow now. That's kind of cool. At this point, I am going to... I know it's kind of gamey, but I'm going to be quick saving. Because at this point, we could get like just a terrible mutation. It completely ruins all the mutations that we've accumulated. And I don't want to do that. I mean, I'll keep most mutations. But if it's like um, 
the one that makes you just randomly mutate outside of your control. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Stretchy limbs and very high thirst. Okay, I'll, I'll go with that. And, you know, high thirst is going to very thirsty, which, it, again, I'll keep that. That sounds fair to me. At this point, I'm not going to play around with a terrible mutation. Stretchy limbs turns into rubbery limbs. Did we already have that? Where's rubbery limbs? No, I don't think we did. So that makes us weaker. That makes us more dexterous. Like, really more dexterous. Interesting. Um, I think that we're going to go with that. I think that that's the, the upgraded version. Give it a different color, so I wasn't sure if it was an upgrade or not. Let's just uh, let's roll with that. I'm going to quick save, though. And then amorphous body, it says it's a bad one, but that actually is kind of what I wanted. <laughs> it's a it's a weird one at this point. So we've basically heavily changed our character from a pretty strong character to not that strong. Let's see what we get here. Distributed Neurology. That's a good one, I think. Isn't that? So yeah, that makes us super smart. Um, if you look here, our intelligence is normally 20. We're in a lot of pain right now, so it's not really what it's supposed to be. And we've got spots, which is not a great one. That can turn into something pretty nasty. Uh, we'll quick save. And... Oh, we got chemical imbalance, which I don't like. Our viscous turned to slimy, which is kind of a bummer. But we got pseudo limbs, which is kind of a cool one. Where's pseudo limbs? So we're a lot weaker now, but we're incredibly dexterous. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the last one. I think I'm going to reload. Yeah. Let's, let's reload that. I know it's a little cheap, but those last few ones were really terrible for us. And chemical imbalance is a really annoying trait to play with. Okay, that was okay. And we've got... I think we can work with this. We've got quite a few interesting ones. We've got... Uh, unfortunately, we went back down to slimy. But we do have pseudo limbs. And we do have webbed hands, which is kind of a bummer. And let's see. We've got strong scent, which means zombies will find us easier. It's fine. That's fine. I think that we'll we'll go with what we got there. Let's have a little bit of food, because we are pretty hungry right now. 
Can I cook more, or am I in too much pain? We can cook, okay, let's do that. You assimilate your meat pie, so we no longer eat things, we assimilate them. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, can we do that again? Can we have another meat pie? Uh, and let's get some water as well. We are in an incredible amount of pain right now, but you can see our stats are 9, 19, 20, and 15. Unfortunately, our strength is so low now, I think if we get hit by a lot of things, we're going to die. So I think when um, Michael gets back, we're going to take his power armor. Um, but I don't think he's going to get back for a little while. Can we make more slime? Mutagen, how much more can we make? Seven. What if we made four? I'm going to make four more. Pour that in a jug. And then can we make more serum? Yeah, let's make a little bit more serum. And then I am going to quick save. Okay, so we got acid blood and slime hands. That's pretty good. So if something hits us. And it makes us have a faster metabolism. Okay. Um, we got slime hands, which is good. I'll keep those. I think both of those are pretty good. It got weak stomach, which is okay. I mean, it's not okay. It's but I'll I'll live with it. Um, let's see. What about this? Let's go one more. Viscous and fast metabolism. You know, I think I'm gonna keep those. Yeah, I think that's good. Viscous is is pretty good trait. Um, fast metabolism, it says it's a bad trait because it makes you eat more, but your stamina goes up faster, which I think we're going to need. So let's see. Let's have some pie. And we'll drink some water. I think I'm going to end this episode here. And maybe next episode we'll go for a quest to get more uh, more mutagen. Maybe down that road, or down that road. Or maybe even up or over here. Those might be some good possibilities. We'll, we'll check it all out. We might also want to get a gas engine for our car. I'm not really sure. But we definitely need the proper power armor at this point. Michael's got seven hours left, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.